In this video, we are going to uh, move on to Chapter 5, Loops. So I'm going to show you how to create um, some very simple loops. Uh, this program is called Loops1, and its job is to essentially um, add the first n integers, like it says. So you ask the user to enter a count, say how many integers. So if the user says 20 integers, then the loop iterates over and over through these 20 integers and it adds the sum of all of these integers. So it essentially says it counts, so if it's 20, it adds the sum of the first 20 numbers, so 1 through 20, that's what it does. So let's start in the beginning and see what we're doing here. We declare all our variables. Notice we have int n to see uh, how many numbers we have. i is a counter that is going to start at 1 and go till n. Total is going to keep track of the total, which is a sum. So we ask the user to um, enter a value for n, which is the number of integers, and we read it into n. And we check to make sure that that n is greater than 0. Because if n is less than or equal to 0, then we can't do anything. So if it is less than or equal to 0, we have a while loop. Um, we don't quit the program. Instead, we ask the user to enter a different number. We say, please try again. And we give the user multiple chances. In fact, notice that this number um, or this loop stays inside that loop for as long as the user enters a number less than or equal to zero. It comes out of the loop only when the user enters a number greater than zero. So while simply says until n or as long as n is less than or equal to zero, stay inside the loop is what we're saying. So the minute the user enters a number greater than zero, we come out and um, there are, these values are initialized again or you can initialize up there like I did here when you create them, but i needs to start at one so you make sure i starts at 1. And notice this loop here is a counter control loop that says while i less than or equal to n stay inside the loop. So i starts at 1. And if the user enters 10, if checks, it checks to see if i is less than or equal to 10, which 1 is. So it comes inside and it adds 1 to total, which is 0. Notice the plus equals, which is our compound operator, to say total equals total plus i. And we increment i. Now i gets to be 2. 2 is less than or equal to 10. So we come back in here and do the same thing. And it keeps going until 10. For 10, it still comes into the loop because 10 is less than or equal to 10. When it hits 11, it comes out of the loop and it displays the sum of the first n integers and it quits. So let's see how. It and it says enter value for n. So if I enter 5, it says the sum of the first 5 integers is 15 and Q to quit. Now a couple of things to notice in here. Notice there's a big difference in how many times the loop is run when we do i less than n as opposed to i less than or equal to n. So these are things that you need to watch out for when you do loops. One other thing that we can do in here, in fact there are a couple of changes that we can make in this file. Notice when I run my program, let's run it. If I enter 0, it says n must be greater than 0, please try again. So if I enter minus 34, it says the same thing. So let's enter 10, and it gives me the sum. What if I want to try a few more numbers? I don't want to quit already. I want to be able to look through the program as many times as I want. So here is an example of a do-while loop. A do-while loop says do until something else happens. So first thing you need to decide is what part of this program needs to be in a do-while loop. What part of it needs to be repeated? So if you look in the beginning, we want to start right from here where it says this program will add the first n integers, which is fine. It says that one time. Please enter a value for n. So right from here, I want my program to repeat until something else happens. So what else happens is what we're going to decide. But first I'm going to take this part of my code which I want to repeat. Let me see what else is down there. All of this until this part right here. I'm going to take it all out of there and I'm going to put it inside my do here. 
I'm going to say do all of this for how long I have to decide here outside here's where my do ends I have to say while a certain condition and I have to put my condition in there so after we say the sum of the first n integers is this we are going to essentially ask the user ask the user if they want to repeat the program so see out do you want to repeat and we read that into let's say I read that into reply I already have a variable called reply I'm going to use that and then I'm going to come here in fact I'm going to take this reply which is declared right here which should be declared way up there I'm going to declare it with the rest of my variables here I'm going to say char reply Let me declare it up there and then we go back down to our program here we say C in reply so and we're also going to tell the user do you want to repeat and we're going to give a hint as to how they can answer that question yes or no so while reply equals yes as long as the reply is yes we want to keep repeating that loop the minute they hit enter or anything other than yes which could be no or q to quit then it's going to come out here and it's going to say please enter q to quit and the user is going to enter q or anything else and it's going to quit at that point in time so this is a good example of a do while loop now the difference between a while and a do while loop notice is a while loop does not have to execute once at all so for example if this n that the user enters happens to be 12 or anything greater than zero it's never going to go into this loop it's going to come straight out and continue with the rest of the program but notice in a do while loop it has to execute the program at least one time because the checking happens at the end of the do while loop so these are some things to keep in mind when you write your loops and the do while loop is a good fit for this where we want to repeat a program so now let's say I enter a value for n I enter 6 it says the sum of the first in six integers is 21 do you want to repeat I'm going to say yes so now I'm going to say 10 okay do you want to repeat yeah one more time and finally I say no it says enter Q to quit and it comes out of the program so we have seen while control counter control loop and this is just a loop that checks to see if a number is less than or equal to zero and our do while loop.